up, kia ora. welcome back to my tragic little channel. Now today, I'm a little bit excited. I'm on a road trip, it's around about a 10 hour round trip, but I've got a couple of days up here and I've come to shoot a volcano, but no ordinary volcano. This volcano is actually quite active. It's a volcano called Fakari, White Island. It sits 48 kilometers off the east coast of New Zealand. In 2019, we had quite a sizable eruption and there was a number of visitors on the island having a tour around. There was an eruption and 24 people, I believe, were killed in the subsequent explosion and the uh, and, and resulting injuries. Since then, no tourists are allowed on the island, which is fair enough. And certainly for the last few weeks, the volcano has been emitting quite a lot of steam and gases, that sort of thing. Hopefully, catch some nice photographs of uh, in 600 meters, turn right onto State Highway 2. I will. Yeah, so hopefully we get some nice photographs and primarily at dawn, sunrise, sunset and blow hour. I mean, fair enough, 48 kilometers out on the horizon there. It's a bit of a distance. I bet you can hardly see it on the GoPro to be fair. But that's not a problem because I brought the 500 millimeter F4 lens. So that should draw that in quite nicely. But obviously this is the height of day. So the light is really polluting what's going on over there. Now, because of the distance of this volcano, I'm going to need some decent gear. So today we're going to be shooting with the Canon 1DX. 10, 11 years old now, I think this thing, but I'll tell you what, it still cranks out some cracking photographs. So we're going to be using that camera, but the 1635 f2.8 isn't going to cut it on this occasion. This is a Canon 500 f4 lens. It's a heavy bit of kit. But for this sort of job, I think it's going to be perfect. I primarily use this for sports photography, mostly cricket, occasionally rugby. We can leave the lens hood off for the moment. And that's the baby. She's an absolute monster. And that is a kit I'm going to be using to shoot Fakari White Island. I've got a tripod, but unfortunately, I've left the heavy duty tripod back at base, which is about five hours drive away. So uh, forget that one. I've got the smaller tripod. I don't know if it's going to hold this weight. We'll give it a go. I've got a monopod, but for long exposures later on, that's not gonna cut it. So what I've got then is some cushions. We're gonna park it on something and then just hold it nice and stable, bop, 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 and fire some shots off. I'm just gonna get a couple of quick photographs of the island as it's looking now, just to get an idea of the distances, the scale, the framing that I'm gonna get. Oh, that draws it in quite nicely, actually. Well, I've decided to drive a bit further up the road into the hills. And this is the view that I've got. I'm not sure you can make that out too well. No haze by the looks of it, it looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna pop off a couple of shots. So I'm shooting these handheld from here. Jeez, the 500 is a little bit tight. I'm kind of wishing I'd have brought the 300 now. I'd like it a little bit wider, let it breathe a little bit more, but uh, it is what it is. And every now and then, the volcano just spews out an extra large plume of steam, like it's doing now, actually. Oh, and it does look good. It does look good. So basically, the island has been doing this now on and off for the last few weeks. Uh, it's not calming down at all. It was at level three a few days ago. I'm not sure what level it's at now. I'm just going to stick a monopod on here just to help me with a bit of stability. If I get anything like this this evening, oh, I'm laughing. There's a lot of steam and crap coming out of that volcano now. And obviously, the danger is firing off too many shots now because the light is absolutely garbage. Wait until this evening, I'm telling you now, this is gonna be absolutely spectacular. I cannot wait. Oh, I've got to shoot another shot. <laughs> She's pretty lively, but, but, but the light's garbage. I've got, to, I've got to hang fire now. Stop it, stop, stop, stop. See if the tripod will take this big lens. I'm hoping it does. I've got myself set up quite nicely here, actually. I've got the remote trigger on, the camera's set nicely on the tripod. The sun's obviously going down a little bit. Much better view now of the mountain. If the conditions are like this later on, as the sun drops and we get into blue hour. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so excited for the shot. The light is dropping down a little bit more. It's just giving so much more definition to the, uh, to the subject. I'm not really so bothered about actual sunset itself. It's afterwards, when we get the belt of Venus in there, the gray blues and the pinks, that's gonna be quite stunning. And then after that, we've got Blue Hour. And that's what I'm most interested in. I, I just think it's gonna stand out really well. Uh, I could prove to be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time, it certainly won't be the last, but uh, I'm hopeful. We're about 40 minutes from sunset. And I tell you what, the definition in that steam cloud is looking 
absolutely spectacular. Got myself a perfect little spot here, loving it. Down on the beach was okay, but there's too much glare, too much sheen coming off the water. Eight minutes to sunset, amazing. Absolutely, this, this is better than I expected actually. I thought it'd be pretty cool, but man, this is, this is a whole different level of cool. Spectacular. We've got another big plume coming up there now. Just leave the video running a little bit, then I can sort of, uh, I'll, I'll do a time lapse on it, I'll speed it up and uh, you can just see the movement of that plume. That is, that is coming up quite a pace actually. Right out to sea, a little fishing boat or a pleasure cruise or whatever it is, and that's just bezzing around, doing its thing, but I can just see it's light, and it just gives a little bit of scale to the shot. I think I'll come here tomorrow morning, dawn, get a few shots, sunrise, see how that's gonna be. Morning all, I've just driven back to the same location as I was last night. All right, we're about seven minutes from sunrise. The island is looking magnificent, it really is. It is spectacular. As soon as sunrise kicks in, I'm gonna take off the big lens and put on the 70 to 200, just to get a little bit more of the steam flow as it's, as it's drifting away. Just to add a little bit of context to where it is. 500 mil is, it is good, but it's maybe just a little bit too tight. As well as this morning went, and it did go well actually, got some nice photographs there. Only so many photographs you can take of a steaming rock. So I was gonna drive off and, and call it a draw, but approaching sunset again, about another hour, hour and a half, and the steam cloud has really kicked up. It's, uh, the wind has obviously blown it about a bit. There's clouds to the left and clouds to the right, and you've got a big column rising straight through the middle. I've been saying it the last couple of days. It's, it's spectacular, it really is. I'm not gonna bother videoing anymore, because uh, this video's gone long enough, and we'll finish it off with a photograph that I get from here this evening. All right, hope you enjoyed, guys. Give us a like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that sort of malarkey. And until next time, 